take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Having French toast fall apart in the skillet is a real bummer, but that doesn't mean you have to only dip the surface of your bread in the custard. You need to get your bread slices saturated, but not soggy. My trick is to place a slice of bread atop the custard and then press it down using a fork. Make your mark, take our lead. Brioche loaf. For French toast, use brioche loaf and slice it into thick slices that are between 1 half and 1 inch thick. This bread is so soft and fluffy, it does the best job soaking the sweet egg mixture. Brioche also has a sweet and buttery flavor, which contributes to the overall flavor of the dish. Take our lead. Using too much heat or not enough plus, the inside won't cook, and you'll be left with a burnt yet soggy piece of French toast. Conversely, if you cook it on too low a temperature, the bread will dry out and you won't have that nice, soft center that makes French toast so decadent. Make your mark, take our lead. It is absolutely possible for you to eat raw French toast. I would not advise you to do it. Eating uncooked eggs is a bad idea, because as others have written, they may be contaminated with salmonella. The salmonella risk is much higher in the US because of the way they are processed. Take our lead. Cook the French toast, while the bread is soaking, add 1 tablespoon of butter to the pan. Flip the French toast, after a few minutes, peek under a slice of bread to see if the French toast has turned golden and browned. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.